Hey guys, it's Pilar Newman and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five stock picks for August 2021. Now, as a quick reminder, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm simply sharing with you the stocks I'm currently looking at or have already purchased in this Roth IRA account. Now, I've been very transparent with how this account is progressing. At the beginning of each monthly stock pick video, I open up with with the balance of this portfolio. Now in the month of July, this portfolio took a bit of a hit due to the China stocks that I'm holding on here. Now currently Alibaba is the largest holding in this account. And if you've been following the news, there was pretty much a huge meltdown of China stocks the last week of July, which is why this portfolio took a hit. Now you can see it as either an opportunity or you can take it as a loss, which I never take these things as a loss. Alibaba, I believe, is going to actually surpass the stock price of Amazon. Now, I did a video prior to this video um, where I share with you some thoughts of some of the super investors who are currently purchasing Alibaba at the moment. Now, this is a stock that I will hold in this account literally for the next 20, 30 years, because like I mentioned, I do believe it will get up to Amazon's price and probably surpass it. So Alibaba continues to be one of my favorite holdings. And as a patient investor, I will see this investment through. Now, the other thing I wanted to know is from the last monthly stock pick video to this stock pick video, I haven't actually made any changes whatsoever to the portfolio. So the swings that you're seeing is all due to the volatility of holding some high growth stocks in this portfolio. And that's pretty much what you have to stomach if you are holding and buying high growth stocks such as I am. All right. So now that I got the whole background out of the way, let's go ahead and let me share with you my top five stock picks for August 2021. First on the list is Snyder National. Snyder is a trucking and logistics services company founded in 1976. The trucking and freight scene continues to improve post pandemic as the economy continues to open up. And with trucking demand holding strong, right now may be a good time to pick up some of your favorite trucking company stocks. Snyder National recently reported second quarter adjusted earnings per share of 60 cents, which was 34 cents better than the prior year results. They are also for forecasting excess demand for freight to continue through the end of the year, and as so, they have raised their 2021 earnings per share guidance. One of the areas where the truck and sector is struggling, including the Snyder National Company, is in the shortage of qualified drivers. Though Snyder has taken measures to turn this around by putting in place a series of compensation plan increases, as well as reopening several of their CDL training academies to develop their own new drivers. With freight rates continuing continuing to increase and increased demand forecasted through the rest of the year, I believe Snyder is a great pick for a high return on a short-term investment play. Now, I've had people comment on some of my previous videos to give an entry point on some of my stock picks. I haven't done that as much simply because I'm not a technical trader. I invest based on company fundamentals and future long-term outlook, but I personally use the stock invest tool to help me get a better idea of when to enter a new stock based on their daily analysis. The tool is free to use and even better, if you use my link underneath this video, you'll also be able to try out their premium plan free for 14 days. So definitely make sure to check underneath this video for that link. In the meantime, here is the current analysis of the Snyder National Company according to Stock Invest US Tool. The Stock Invest US tool currently has a hold recommendation on the Snyder National Company stock. Based on their analysis, given the current short term trend, the stock is expected to fall 19.22% during the next three months and with a 90% probability, hold a price between $16.05 and $18.13 at the end of the three month period. Now, please do note that this is the short term trend analysis. If this 
this stock does break through a level of resistance, then this analysis will change to something more positive. Simply use this as a way to sort of guide you as when you want to enter into this stock. I, for example, will buy at certain points. So for example, um, I do have this stock in the Roth IRA at about $22 and change. If the stock price does go down further and there is extra cash in the account, then I will go ahead and buy again. And that way I can average down on this price of the stock. Next on the list is the Willis Towers Watson Company. They are the third largest insurance broker in the world and operate as a British multinational risk management company, insurance broker, and advisory company. They recently terminated their merger plans with the Aon PLC Company, which is another leading British firm providing a broad range of risk, retirement, and health solution services. The termination of the deal was a result of the estimated long legal battle with the US Department of Justice which had sued to block the deal based on antitrust grounds. The Willis Towers Watson Company lost some of their talent during the merger process, and the CEO is also expected to leave by the end of the year. This short-term vulnerability has led me to place this esteemed insurance broker company on my watch list. They are an extremely profitable company that is close enough to being fairly valued in the marketplace. I do still expect their stock price to continue on a downward spiral Viral due to these short-term headwinds and am keeping a close eye on their upcoming earnings report. Due to its current situation, this stock could fall between $175 to $185 within that range, at which point I would pick it up for a long-term hold, as I do believe it will bounce favorably once it reestablishes its footing in the marketplace. With the company being extremely profitable and with a comfortable valuation, it's a non-exciting stock to buy, but one that I believe has good upside potential for the patient investor. This company is not going anywhere. Anything under $185 is a good buy in my opinion. The Stock Invest US tool currently holds a sell rating for the Willis Towers Watson Company stock. Their analysis states that the stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. Given the current short term trend, the stock is expected to fall 22.4% during the next three months and with a 90% probability hold a price between 154.83 and 172 with 63 cents at the end of this three month period. Again, th this analysis does change if the stock does pass a certain resistance level. So again, I would go ahead and average in if you're thinking about buying into the stock. Third on the list is Canopy Growth. This is a complete speculative play on the growing cannabis industry, so it's one of those stocks that you either believe in the company or you don't. I initially purchased this stock back in 2019 and have flipped it three times for short-term gains in this Roth IRA account. Originally, it was a way for me to jumpstart this new account, but now Canopy Growth has become another one of my long-term plays along with Alibaba. Canopy Growth is the world's largest pop grower and while they have had their struggles of ups and downs, they are still financially backed by one of the largest U.S. liquor giants, Constellation Brands. Constellation Brands initially invested $190 million in the cannabis company back in 2017, but that has since ballooned to a $4 billion investment. Constellation does expect it to be on the forefront of cannabis-infused drinks with his stake in Canopy and is betting that this partnership will produce profitable results in the future. While I do like the Canopy Growth Company as a long-term investment, they are burning through cash rather quickly and are not forecasted to be profitable for another two to three years. Additionally, with U.S. marijuana legalization still not available across all states and federal policy still being worked on, there's a long road ahead to wait to realize serious gains on the stock. But that doesn't mean that money can't be made along the way with the various volatile swings that Canopy has experienced 
during this time and continues to experience now. Canopy growth is a long-term hold in this Roth IRA portfolio, and it has again found its way to the bottom of the new hill it is currently on. This stock may continue to swing down into the $15 to $17 range, which would make it a great risk to reward stock to get in on during that time. I currently am only sitting on 35 shares of Canopy growth at $16 per share in this portfolio, but do plan on buying more if it dips down to my desired buy range. If it doesn't reach my desired buy range, then I do plan to continue holding the 35 shares for the foreseeable future. The Stock Invest US tool currently holds a sell rating on the Canopy Growth Stock. Their analysis reads that the stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at 1813 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. Given the current short term trend, the stock is expected to fall 17.82% during the next three months, and with a 90% probability hold a price between $14.90 and $19 at the end of this three month period. Next on the list is Affirm. Affirm is a payment network company that offers a buy now, pay later model for the e-commerce market. Currently, Affirm Services is available to all Shopify merchants in the US and continues to expand their footprint with acquisitions such as Returnly, which is a leader in online experiences and post-purchase payments. The e-commerce space is a growing sector, which gives Affirm tremendous room for growth. This can be confirmed with their most recent reporting where they raised their guidance for fiscal year 2021 due to a year-over-year -year gross merchandise volume growth of 83%. In July, the Affirm stock took a nosedive when the Apple company announced they were working with Goldman Sachs to create their own buy now, pay later service for customers. This shook many investors and created a sell-off that is now looking more like a great opportunity to start a position. That's because, as one analyst put it, Apple's interest in entering this could help to confirm the attractiveness of the buy now, pay later category. Additionally, the same analyst reminded us that e-commerce is an $800 billion a year industry and that if the Affirm company only captured $2.6 billion of that market, then it would warrant a $90 price target. The company currently has $1.81 billion in cash and $2.04 billion in debt, which gives it a net cash position of negative $231 million. This makes a firm a bit of a risky stock to hold, but one that I continue to have on my watch list in the event it dips into the mid to high $40 range. The Stock US Invest tool currently holds a sell rating for the Affirm stock. According to their analysis, the stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor of $54.18 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. Given the current short term trend, the stock is expected to rise 10.12% during the next three months and with a 90% probability hold a price between $59.67 and $79.97 at the end of this three month period. Last but not least on the list is Adis Home Care. This is also my top pick for this month. Adis provides in-home assistance with activities of daily living, in-home medical and skilled healthcare services, as well as in-home comfort care for patients and family members. They also have a working relationship with 180 care agencies across 25 states. Long-term healthcare for the growing elderly population is a high growth business and ADIS is in a good position to continue capitalizing in this sector. They have a strong balance sheet and have been able to increase their EBIT by 22% in the last 12 months, which has made it easier for them to pay down debt, which by the way is at a manageable ratio. There is no fundamentally good reason for the stock to be driven down this low to the bottom of the hill, which means this is a great opportunity to buy in at rock bottom prices. 
The Stock Invest tool currently holds a buy rating for the ATIS Home Care stock. According to their analysis, the stock lies in the upper part of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $88.16 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. Given the current short-term trend, the stock is expected to fall 16.10% during the next three months and with a 90% probability, hold a price between $61.11 and $73.96 at the end of this three-month period. Again, this is the current analysis for the day. This does change based on how the stock is doing. So please do take this as a grain of salt. This is simply a way for you to see where where the resistance lines are um, and where the support lines are in case you are thinking about getting into the stock. Guys, please do me a huge favor. These are my top five stock picks for August. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button as well as subscribe to my channel. Every single month, I go ahead and put out my new best stock uh, picks for the month as well as show you how this portfolio is progressing so if that interests you definitely subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again in the next one take care bye bye